Hey guys, Crasher. I'm going to show you how to install the Bazel project for Android, also known as BP4 Droid. What you want to do is you want to get the zip file onto your shield any which way you can. FileZilla, thumb drive, whatever. I currently have it in my downloads folder, so let's go check it out. Uh, you can use whatever programs you want to use. Uh, I'm using ES File Explorer to make it easy. Going into my downloads folder, you'll want the BP4 Droid zip or the uh, folder structure that's inside, either which way, whatever makes it easier for you. Um, with the ES File Explorer, you can extract zip files. So I made it a zip file, and you can extract it to the location you want to make it easy. Or you could move this zip file to the location in question. So let's go ahead and go over there. You want to click on internal storage, which will kick you to your storage emulated zero area. And you go down and pick RetroArch. And if you see, I have my zip folder here. When you unzip it, this folder will appear, Basil Project. You'll want to grab the config and the overlays folder. Just copy them both. And you want to put them into the RetroArch folder. Once again, that's storage emulated zero RetroArch. You want them in this folder. As you can see, I already have them. Config and overlay. Overlays, actually, I should say. That's it. That the hard part's done. You put those there, you wait for them to continue. Then you'll want to go to RetroArch. And you want to point to those two directories. So go over to the cog, scroll all the way down to directory, scroll down till you find config. You want to switch it to storage emulated zero RetroArch config. So click on it. One of the options should be storage emulated zero. Go find your RetroArch folder, usually at the bottom. Find your config folder and use this directory. That one's done. Do the same thing for overlay. Storage emulated zero RetroArch and overlays. Use this directory. You're done. You also want to make sure that you have to save. So go ahead and quit RetroArch because uh, it's standardly set to auto save. If you don't have it set to auto save, you can save it in the config area, configurations area in the first column here. Uh, another note, you'll want to have some emulators. Um, I already have the one that I'm going to be showing off today already installed, but installing an emulator is really easy. You have this huge list. You can pick whichever ones you want. Um, the Basil project has done quite a few systems, even uh, PlayStation 1, the entire library of like 1,700 Basils. It's ridiculous. You throw a game at this thing, and it works. So you have your core. You'll want to scan the directory if you're just going to use RetroArch. So I'm going to go and scan my games folder real quick. Blah, blah, blah. You want to scan where your ROMs are. I've already done this, so... You know, you just scan this folder. I've already done it, so back on out. And as you see, I scanned my NES folder. Now, any one of these games, I click on it, and it will load up a specialized basil for that game. If you notice, I picked uh, Attack for Killer Tomatoes. There's Attack for Killer Tomatoes basil. This is by far one of the coolest, easiest things that I've seen. They have it working on Pi... They have it working on Odroid. I got it working on the Tinkerboard. They have it running on Windows. And now we have it over ported over to Android. Um, they're going to continue to make sets. And when they do that, I'll just update my zip file. So all you guys have to do is grab the zip file and then just copy it over and overwrite the missing ones. As you see, uh, whichever game you throw at it, it has Basil 4. I think the next one that they're working on is TurboGrafx-16, so that will be really fun. 
Uh, I think they're starting on the uh, CD side. But as you see, any game that you play, these basils will show up. Now, here's the really cool thing. The way I've set this up is that any front end that just calls RetroArch without messing with the configs should launch this. For example, the front end I made called Let's Play um, will just call the emulator and it will pull those configs. So if you have Hyperspin or Arc Browser or anything like that, as long as they pull on that core, it will pull the configs for the game. The games have to be in the no intro hyperspin naming convention. And anything that you pick, that you throw at it, any front end you use, as long as it pulls it correctly, and it's not using specialized configs, it should launch your game with the corresponding basils. Um, it's super, super easy, super fun, and hopefully I made this really easy for you guys. Um, enjoy. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to catch on some further videos that I'll be dropping. You guys have a great day. Game on.